What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World. And right now, we're going to be talking about what you should be doing in Madden 24 Ultimate Team right now. Now, this series has been helping a lot of you guys that are getting into Madden 24 Ultimate Team. So just do me a favor. Continue to like, share, subscribe, and I'll give you more of this content to make sure that you're up to date with everything Madden 24 Ultimate Team. Now, the number one thing that I want you guys to be paying attention to is the Gridiron Guardians. All right. Now, what is the purpose of this? Why is this, you know, something that I want you guys to pay attention to? Because it's a two-part program, and there's a lot of things that are involved with it, but you can really take your time doing it. I've received a lot of complaints about the fact that EA Sports wants you to get 80 rushing touchdowns. What I'm here to tell you is this, is this, is that you can do this in any mode. Wherever you ever see stats, it's usually any mode, all right? So, realistically, you can go to any challenge, as long as you have two Gridiron Guardian players in your lineup, okay? and you'll be good to go. It won't be an issue. Like I said, 80 is a lot. And usually, in fairness to EA, even though I don't want to be fair, but I have to be, um, it's a two-part promo. So if you try to grind it out with like 40 and another 40, some of you guys are like psychos and you'll just go into a challenge where you're pretty close uh, you know, to the, to the goal line and just do it a couple times and get it done. But for the, those of you guys that have schedules that you don't really have a lot of time to play the game, you have to really partition that time. And you have to make sure that you know, your schedule works. You got family, you got everything else that's going on. This is not supposed to be the top of your list unless it's something that you really want to do and you grind and you want the best players and you don't want to spend as much money because that's what it all comes down to. The rewards from this right here is going to help you out a lot in completing everything that goes on with the actual Mutt Level Field Pass for Season 1. So what I want you guys to understand is there are certain things that I would like for all of my viewers to have at the end of this season. Remember, some of you guys that are joining us now, you guys have not been grinding the game. So you might look at this and say, gee, it's no way I'm going to get this, right? You'd be like, yo, gee, it's, it just doesn't make any sense. I can't do anything, you know, to be able to get this right here. Um, if you can't get this, it's not that big of a deal. We will find other ways for you to be able to get XP throughout the season. The promos, you know, simplified ways on how to do things. And that's what I try to make sure that I do. Because I don't want you guys sitting around trying to figure it out. Because that doesn't make any sense. Why are you watching the video if you have to figure it out yourself? So I just show you. This is what you have to do. If you choose to do it, everything will be good. If you do not, it's not going to work out. So for those of you guys that have been grinding, you would have received this. This is going to give us a jump start into Season 2 where the players are more likely going to be around 90 to 91. It's going to be a lot of free, high I overall players uh, in Season 2. And I know you guys are going to want to get your hands on it because right now, when you look at Jalen Ramsey, I get a lot of, yo, G, why is he so highly rated? Like, gee, what's going on? What, 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 you know, what's going on with uh, Isaiah Simmons? Well, he, he right there, we're going to talk about him later, but... Um, some of these players that are released, everybody wants to get their hands on them as soon as possible. But Isaiah Simmons, I had to actually pay for. Jalen Ramsey is free. If you just grind the game, he's free. And then after you grind the game, you take all the season one players that you got throughout the entire field pass and you put them in your lineup. And then you also add additional speed boost to them as well. So there are ways in the game that you don't have to spend a lot of money. For instance, I haven't purchased a bundle in a couple weeks. Some of you guys are asking me to, you know, check them out, see what packs, stuff like that. It hasn't really been anything that's really driven my interest to actually get, but there are a lot of ways with a lot of these, um, you know, platinum packs to make easy coins. But this right here, I think that that, for the next couple weeks, Jalen Ramsey is going to still be one of the top corners. And he's such a top corner that I raid Sol Camardi and that other idiot, uh, Gilmore. All right, because they all play pretty much the same. It doesn't really matter. You know what I'm saying? So just go ahead and do the things that make the most sense. Now, as far as getting into the um, the challenges uh, with the uh, Gridiron Gardens, I put out a full video on that uh, showing you guys how to do it. Uh, it should not be an issue. Uh, I do believe that they said the gliders were patched uh, as far as like um, counts for all team lineups. You see like how they said this right here? I think they just probably updated it, so we're going to try it again live because that was a major issue about some of you guys being locked out. Yo, gee, I can't get it. I don't know what's going on. What should I do? You know, what's the deal? Um, let's go take a look at it now as I break this down for you, right? So the gliders, the gliders are actually, um, let me go over to the set real quick. We go to the catalog, and I'm going to make it more simplified. Um, we're going to go program, and we're going to go down to Gridiron Guardians, and we're going to be looking for the G on him. All right, so right now... He is the only glider in the game. 
So if you can't get into those challenges, I got into every other one by using an 86 and an 83. And I put that in the video. Just go to the Madden 24 playlist right here at Gmai's World. It's the Gridiron Guardian tutorial. If you need the link, let me know. But I put I broke it down for everybody, so everybody's able to do it. This guy gets the glider chemistry and that 384 George card, they updated him since yesterday. What happened was when they first put it out, he was not counting towards chemistry. So what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna test it out live. We're gonna see if EA actually fixed it. So let's go right now, let's buy this card because he has a G chemistry. Okay, and I'm gonna show you guys briefly because these are the things that you should be doing to get other free content. When you grind through all those challenges, you're gonna end up getting free Gridiron Guardian players that you can use to upgrade your team. And that's what it's pretty much about, it's Ultimate Team. So you wanna put together the best possible team. So what I'm gonna do right now I'm going to put, um, hold on, how many Raiders do we have? 27? I'm going to, no, I'm going to leave DeAndre Hopkins in because I don't really want to, I'll remember to take this other guy out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw Alave in, right? And he has the G chemistry. Then as over here with him, he has an M on him. I'm going to take the M off and I'm going to give him the G. Okay. Now, if it works out, because it's two or four, it's two times the player. So if it works out, we should be able to unlock that challenge because I was getting issues with it because he's the only player and the George card wasn't working. So let's check that right now because these challenges, okay, so it does work. So they've updated it and now he actually works. Now, as far as these things go, uh, it's all Madden, all right? It's pretty wild and nasty that they've done this. Um, you know, some people will ask me like, yo, gee, I'm having difficulty with it. The one thing that I will tell you, right, with the way that this works, it's still arcade mode so you can still get away with throwing the ball anywhere. The problem is if you have to run the ball. When you have to run the ball, it's something that creates a major issue because the computer plays like you have a, a pork chop on your butt cheeks and they're gonna get it. That's the way they play. So with everything else, right, that I've completed already, I typically just went through and I used the G, um, you know, the G, like whatever it is, whatever the letter was, I just used the 86 and the 83 version of them with the exception of the D tackle from the Cowboys, because he has the dual ones where he gets two letters, and then you have to just match into the player with those letters in order to get those challenges. Now, as far as why I'm doing it, what's the reward, G? What, what, what does it matter? 86 overall GG Hero Fantasy Pack. So that's gonna lessen the amount of the players that you need to get some of the other players that are dropping soon, all right? Now, I don't expect part two of this promo to increase the overall. So you see how I just bought that player and he was 127? I could invest also into getting the cheaper players and just be ready with the five. That is also something else that you can do. As far as these challenges, this helps you with the field pass as well. And then you get an 81 plus that can be any player. So I would love for you guys that are grinding the game to be doing that right now. Because if you're looking to get the Jalen Ramsey, you also get additional chemistry from doing the Gridiron Guardians. Like, I, I think I, I just showed it to you guys before when we were looking at this stuff. Um, you still get a lot of the other things that are, you know, that are available. So with the rewards, all of this XP as you grind through this, and it's a two-part promo, get all the XP. And then ultimately, you're going to be able to walk yourself through and get that Jalen Ramsey and get a lot of the stuff in Season 1. So that way you didn't miss out on anything that was involved. All right? I don't know what your mutt levels are. Go ahead and write it in the comments and let me know what's going on. How close are you to getting this? And let me know if you've already gotten it. This is what you should be doing right now in Madden 24 Ultimate Team. I'm going to see you guys and girls next time. One love, y'all.